like it. From the Easter Bunny. Not very much to open because it's super wide open. <laughs> True, you're, you can't really open it, just look at it. Okay, so what we see here is a Hershey's Milk Chocolate Bunny. What's that voice? We find some <laughs> Yorkshire mints in a variety of colorful packets. Oh, wow. Don't touch my mints. <laughs> That's his Batman voice. Sour catch okay, I thought bunnies. these were so funny. Let me see it. They're actually bunnies. We find... A hunk load of milk chocolate that's gonna last two days, if that. <laughs> Probably your favorite holy, part. Holy grail. <laughs> What's funny is Chris doesn't even like doggies. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start making some brunch. All right, for brunch, we got some deviled eggs. They're not the prettiest because I didn't pipe them, I just spooned them in. So we got some deviled eggs, we've got biscuits. And bacon. Makeup. I haven't worn makeup in days, but um, I thought since it's Easter, want to look nice and still dress up and celebrate um, with the family. This morning, like you guys saw, we did the Easter basket and I made brunch. And now everyone's just relaxing. And I thought I would do a little bit of makeup. So I'm going to share with you what I already put on my face because I thought about this as I started doing my eyes. So I have the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I chose to use this one today, but I also have my Mary Kay CC Cream that I recently cut open because I'm almost out of it. Um, so I kind of either go in between the It Cosmetics or the Mary Kay. I am in the shade Fair in the It Cosmetics and then Light. No very light in the Mary Kay. Forever mattifying primer. I've been using this a lot just on my T-zone area. I don't really use a primer everywhere. I did also wear a sunscreen. Um, this one's the Mary Kay Time Wise Age Minimize 3D. Um, it's a day cream which has SPF 30 on it. So I did that underneath my foundation. And then for my concealer, I used the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And I'm in the shade Swan. And then I set my under eye with this Urban Decay Powder. This Urban Decay Powder is really like nice coverage for your entire face, but it's a little too light for me. So that's why I like setting my under eye with it. And I ran out of my Hourglass Diffuse Light. So I've actually already hit pan on this. This is in the shade 10NN. And then I use the Too Faced Peach Perfect Setting Powder for the rest of my face. I use the Park Avenue Princess Tarte Bronzer for my contour areas. I use the Lorac Baked Matte Satin Blush in Exposed for my cheeks. I wanted something like princess flushed, you know, like how you have that more like rosy cheek. I've been doing a lot of, and that's so pretty. I've been doing a lot of peachy tones for months, so I wanted something just like cherry cheeks. And then for my highlight, I love this highlight. It's so beautiful and so natural, glowy looking. Like, look at that. I love it. It's the Natasha Denona Glow. And this is the All Over Glow, glow Face and Powder in number one light. It doesn't look like anything super crazy in the pan, but it's just so pretty. I love that. Anyways, I'm going to do my eye makeup now really quick. So all I've done is put this cream shadow on from Milk in the shade Hotel Lobby. And then I'm going to use this Tom Ford palette. Um, it is it's a little quad and they're all mattes. This is the Coco Mirage palette. So I'm going to stop talking. <laughs>
is the completed look. On my lips, I have the House of Solage in Countess. This pink is so pretty. I think it's the perfect pink. I do have a little bit of this Marc Jacobs gloss on the top as well in pink flamingo. All right, I'm going to go fix my hair because it's a little wild and crazy and get dressed. And we're going to take some Easter pictures and then just enjoy the rest of the day relaxing. Yeah. And then we're going to have dinner <laughs> later. <laughs> what was that? Oh, we got a touchdown. <laughs> so we all dressed up in our Easter Sunday best today just to, I don't know, make it feel like it's Easter more, you know? It's fun that we still have our traditions, you know? And so, yeah, so that's why we dressed all in our Sunday best and we took some cute Easter pictures and now we are going to watch a movie and chill together and then we might play some games, like some board games and stuff because we haven't done that in this house yet and just like enjoy the day. It's so beautiful outside. So for sure, we're gonna spend some time outside too um, with Lucy, maybe go for a walk or two or three because <laughs> uh, we still have the majority of the day. Well, it's like three o'clock. So um, probably go for a walk right now since it's super nice out. Um, but I wanted to share the dress one more time show you my Sunday best because I'm about to change back into comfies. All right, new outfit. This is a super soft sweater. I got a long time ago though. And it's from the brand Almost Famous. And it's so soft, it has the little Eiffel Towers on it. Never forget the years, the waste. Don't forget them for all what they had done. So we had Mama V Hub bring some really yummy food for Easter. We just ate. But there's ham, turkey, and corn, and mashed potatoes. You can kind of see them in there. There you go. And some stuffing. We got major spoils. I gave them apple crisp. And they also uh, made a rosca, the Easter rosca bread with cinnamon this year. And almonds looks bomb. Hey guys, so today I actually went into work because we did a deep clean of the office and organized everything and I'm pretty exhausted, but it was good because I got paid <laughs> and you know we got to make the office look amazing. So I just had to come on here and say some days I come home and I make a healthy dinner, has all you know the nutrition and needs that my family. And then some days you say F it and you make pizza bites or bagel bites, I guess I should say. Hey guys, it's Wednesday and I do have to go into work for a half a day just for some post-op care. Um, so that's why I'm all dressed. This shirt is from Express, but I got it a while ago. Earrings are from Amazon. I'll make sure to link them for you guys. They are obviously not Gucci since I got them on Amazon, um, but they're definitely, I guess, I wouldn't say they're a dupe, but they're, you know, obviously trying to, to be Gucci. And then I kind of ruffled up my hair and put some volumizer thing in it. So, and now this person next to me is totally watching me vlog. It's super embarrassing. So I'll talk to you guys later. I just wanted to check in really quick and say hi. Hope everyone's doing well. It is getting super hot here. It's like 80 degrees. So to make up for pizza bagels last night, I'm making some shrimp scampi that has breadcrumbs and Parmesan and lemon butter sauce. And we got some zucchini on the side here, just like fried up a little bit. And then I'm boiling some water to put the pasta in. All right, you guys, this morning I'm gonna be making some healthy cookies. I've been posting a lot of richer and calorie full recipes I feel like lately. So I decided let's make a healthy one because I had these two medium super ripe bananas that need to be used. Um, so instead of freezing them again for smoothies, I decided to make these cookies. So you only need three ingredients. You're gonna need two medium ripe bananas, some quick oats. I, am, I don't know why mine's all scraped up, but yeah, these are just the Quaker oats. One minute oats. 
nothing to them. So you're gonna need one and a half cups of oats. I already have the half a cup in here. You need a third of a cup of little mini morsels. There's one on the package right there. These are the ones I like to use from Toll House. But you can use any ones you like. And then we're going to mash the banana up on a separate plate and throw that in here, mix it together. And you're gonna bake it at 350 degrees. I already have my oven going for about 12 to 15 minutes until they're golden brown. It makes about, this recipe makes about 12 cookies, I believe. These are vegan, gluten-free, and delicious. So let's go ahead and make it. So once you mash up the banana, then you're just going to incorporate that with the chocolate chip and oat mixture and make sure it's well combined. And then once that is all combined into kind of like a cookie dough, then you're going to make little um, balls of cookie dough and place it on um, a sheet. I have a silicone mat, so I don't need to grease mine, but if you don't, then make sure to grease it or use some parchment paper. And um, these do not spread, so you wanna kinda make sure to flatten them and shape them into a cookie shape, um, cause that's how they will stay. All right guys, so this is how they should look on your baking sheet. I kind of press them down and it does get a little messy when you're forming them. Um, but yeah, they're all nice and ready to go in. So they do make, um, this recipe makes exactly 12 cookies. I'm gonna put them in the oven now. Here's what they look like right out of the oven. They pretty much look the same and they're really soft because they just came out, but they're baked all the way through. So makes 12 cookies. I left mine in for about 13 to 14 minutes. And these are really great for breakfast or just snacks. And they're really filling because of the oats. So right now we have Polite Pest here helping us with all of the little critter bugs around the house. We don't see a lot of activity, but we definitely make sure to get at least a monthly treatment to make sure no scorpions or um, usually usually crickets, scorpions, and mosquitoes are an issue here in Arizona. So they are here today, and so far they have been extremely informative, really polite, and they're wearing masks, which is awesome. As you can see, he's working real hard right now. So I'll let you guys know the entire um, situation afterwards. I really also like that they use um, essential an essential oil in their product that helps to repel pests from coming back, which is unique. Um, I believe it's clove essential oil. Hey guys, yes, I am wearing my little under eye patches right now because my eyes looked extra puffy to me. Um, so I decided to wear these. These are the V2 code um, oxygen under eye masks and they help with dark circles, puffiness, um, like sleepy eyes and fine lines and wrinkles. So I'm in the car right now about to deliver some of the healthy cookies to my brother and my parents. Cause I, I actually took pictures and like told them I was baking those and they were like, we want to try them. So um, instead of DoorDash, it's Melissa Dash right now and I'm not gonna make any contact. I'm gonna do contactless delivery and leave it at their port, and then they have to go and pick it up. Okay, I'm gonna try to put my sunglasses on over these patches. By the way, these eye patches you can wear for up to eight hours, and they stay, like, they stay put. They don't move. They're, there's like a gel kind of underneath, a cooling gel, and you can actually sleep in them, and that's how I usually like to use these, um, is sleep in them but right now I'm gonna wear them all throughout the rest of the day. Hey guys, so I'm actually in line to get some Starbucks for Chris and I at, the, at a drive-thru um, because he has been talking about Starbucks for probably at least a week now. We've been daydreaming of our Starbucks and um, we actually ran out of our Keurig pods recently, so we've been using like a regular coffee maker. It's not the best quality. We actually need to upgrade and get a new one. So anyways, I'm getting him that right now. I forgot to talk to you guys about the pest control company, um, Polite Pest. So I was using a different pest control company and not that they were doing a bad job, um, but Polite Pest reached out to me on Instagram and said, you know, would you try out our service? Because they're um, a local family business. And I was all about that. I'm like, sure, totally. We'll 
be more than happy to try you out. And I'm so glad that I did because we're going to continue to use them now. I love that they put the clove extract in their pesticide because my entire house smelled so good like a spa instead of insect repellent like spray you know it smelled so good if you live in Arizona I do believe they're in five states total but for sure they're in Arizona so I'll make sure to like link their information for anyone who's interested so yeah I'm really pumped for this coffee I think I'm actually gonna get a matcha tea and then I'm gonna get Chris his favorite which is a mocha caramel frappuccino so today is the big day that I go from Parada to Bruner. Um, Parada is going to be part of my middle name though. So I will officially be taking Chris's name, um, which is really exciting. And honestly, what took me so long to start this process was that it's just very daunting how much goes into switching your name over. There is so much paperwork and there is so many different things that you have to figure out and it was just too much and I'm like you know what I'll do it another day I'll do it another day I kept putting it off and then actually the knot.com which I used to organize my whole wedding um, had recommended hitch switch um, in an email to me so I am super excited to say that I am partnering with them and I do have a coupon code down below if you are someone that hasn't changed your name yet and you're already married or maybe you're um, about to be married, I definitely suggest this. So there's three different options. It's anywhere from $39 to $99. Um, this is the $99 package and what they do is organize everything for you. So this is what it comes, comes like this, really cute. And they actually even wrote that on the box for me. And then it has this folder and in this folder gives all of the instructions on what to do with all of this paperwork and it has every single document that I need to send out to change my name. Also with the um, $99 package you get passport photos. This is my new passport photo. <laughs> actually way better than my other passport photos. So I'm really excited. So they sent that separately in an envelope and um, this is actually the company that does the passport photos. You do it on your phone and it's so easy. I did this in less than five minutes. So you don't even have to wait in line to get passport photos done. So yeah, so now they have this all nice and organized and a checklist for me. And they also even gave me the pre-stamped envelopes to ship the things out in, like my passport, for my driver's license, social security card, all that good stuff. So I am going to get started and doing all of this, but I'm just so happy that it's all organized like this and I can just easily just go through each item and get it done fast. So definitely suggest them. I'll make sure to link it down below if you are curious. Okay, so the verdict on these cookies is that next time I'm going to put a little bit of vanilla extract as well as some cinnamon or some kind of little bit of flavoring. Um, might even put a little agave syrup or like Splenda or some kind of substitute sugar, like just a little bit because they aren't very sweet. So they are super delicious still though, in my opinion. They're definitely more of like a breakfast cookie because they're very filling but they're not very sweet. They're not more, they're not very much like a dessert. Now these are 67 calories each, whereas a built bar is 110 calories usually. So if you eat a half of that, that's like what, 55 calories. I would prefer that for a dessert over this, but these are really good for like a substitute, like a breakfast or a, or a snack that's gonna be filling. All right, you guys, Chris and I are here at Home Depot getting some filters for the house. We have four different size filters in our house, which is crazy. And we're just now changing them out after eight months, but. So I took down um, the majority of the Easter stuff today. Some stuff is still left around, like some bunnies. But anything that's at Easter, I took down today. And I still have a lot of work to do on, on this. It's not where it needs to be, but it's getting there. Although I love these. I love the little eggs. Like the farm stuff. And then I'm doing a honeybee theme here with the mugs. Most of them are the um, yellow interior. This one is too, that one isn't. Let me scooch back so you can see all of them. And then on the bottom I have the happy hubby and happy wife.